When we started scouting, I really did not know the impact it was going to have. We were looking for something for our son. He is deaf, and we were looking for something where maybe he could feel included as a group. So when the opportunity came up for scouting, he had a friend that was involved in scouting, and we thought, well, maybe this is the connection that we need for him, and maybe it's something that he'll like, something where he can have some friends that are maybe a little more understanding to the issues he has. So we tried out the pack and immediately there was a connection. I didn't realize at the time that we were all gonna be so involved in scouting. We just saw so many kids that needed the pack, that needed the troop, that needed that connection. It wasn't just our son. We've had children that have been blind. We've had many children with um, autism and our troop has always been very inclusive. Every few years, we do go down to the railroad museum and the boys work on the railroading mare badge. They have train cars there, presidential cars. Our boys are very much into their mare badges and whenever we plan an activity where we say we are working on our mare badges, they know they'll print their workbooks, they'll bring it with them, they'll come prepared with questions to ask things that they want to learn about. Scouting is perfect to get them back into just a different frame of mind. My name is Lisette Reina Naranjo, and I am the Chartered Organization Representative for PAC Troop Adventure Crew 92.